Got a real quick unboxing for you today. Um, just got this in. This is from uh, Deadwood Knives, I believe is the name of the distributor. Never bought anything from them before. Uh, I'm going to check it out. <clears throat> it opens up with the uh, Emerson Wave equipped Endura from Spyderco. <clears throat> This is Fox Knives from Italy, and uh, I know what's in here. Oh, it's a different pouch. It's like hemp or something. Uh, let's see, we've got some goodies in here. We've got a. Torx wrench for adjustment and uh, some paperwork. Okay. Let's take a look at the knife. There it is. Okay. A little tape on there to protect the. Oh, it's a little piece of plastic slid under the uh, under the pocket clip to protect the micarta from getting scratched up uh, in shipping, that's all that is. Um, all right, so this is one of Robert Terzula's, Terzula's design for, uh, for Fox Knives. There's his brand, his logo. And this is in B cut. I'm not actually sure if that's how you pronounce that. This is a type of German steel. It's uh, apparently it's not uncommon for Italian. I mean, for European cutlery, it's a German uh, ingot formed steel, um, but we don't see it a lot in the United States. Um, the finish on this thing is really interesting. It's um, the stone wash, and it's got sort of more, a little bit more aggressive, uh, sort of almost looks like they're using larger stones or something to tumble in there. Um, the, um, the B-cut steel is very, uh, corrosion resistant. Um, so, you know, one of the risks that you can run with a uh, stone wash finish is it creates little, you know, imperfections, little uh, scratches in the surface of the steel uh, where water could get trapped and that could, on a, uh, on a high carbon steel, um, result in, you know, a, a, a place for uh, op opportunistic uh, <laughs> staining. I guess it's kind of personifying water as having uh, the desire to stain your knife, which isn't really how it works, but um, yeah, if you got little scratches in there, it creates pockets where water can collect and um, and stain the blade. But uh, with a really highly corrosion resistant material like this, um, it shouldn't be so much of an issue. Um, Yeah, I am. I have a lot of uh, Robert Terzola uh, designed knives. Um, some of them are uh, other Fox knives. Here's another one. This is a different model. Uh, also designed by Robert Ter Terzola. Uh, this is with N690 steel. Most of most of the uh, Fox. Uh, Terzoola knives are an N690CO, um, but um, I will do another video where I'll show you a bunch of uh, production knives uh, from several different manufacturers uh, that have been designed by Robert Terzoola. Um, but for today, just doing a little unboxing on this guy, and that, that's oh, that's really nice feeling uh, micarta. Uh, they're calling this an olive drab, 
Odie Green micarta. Um, and yeah, it's got a little bit of a greenish tint to it. Um, it's really, you know, it's, it's kind of almost velvety texture to it. Um, my car can, can have a lot of different feels depending on what kind of uh, fabric, kind of uh, textile they used and, and uh, you know, what kind of resin. And this is a, what I would say is more desirable than the ones that basically feel the same as G10. Some of them are really hard and really smooth. Um, This is uh, anodized aluminum, I think, uh, on the uh, back spacer and the thumb, op thumb opening disc. And this is a spear point blade. Um, yeah, so look for another video coming soon where I'll compare several uh, Robert Terzola designed uh, production knives. Thanks.